My name is Eric Chesser, and welcome to Shed Tour, a video series dedicated to getting outdoors, spending time with old friends, making new ones, but more than anything, searching for these things, shed antlers. I started shed hunting as a teenager over 25 years ago. It's my favorite thing to do outdoors, and still to this day, I'm just oh, as excited to find guys. an antler as I, I was back then. Had a heart attack. Like, I'm in shock. We're finding Sit an back and enjoy another episode of the Shed Tour. Good morning guys, welcome to another episode of Shed Tour. We got a little different change of pace today. I don't know what that was all about, my snaps, but we rode the tracks, this thing got us in. Surprisingly, even this late, you still need tracks to get into some of this country. We don't know what to expect, but again, studying Onyx, trying some new country. We have these big finger canyons that run down and they really drop some elevation quickly, but we're gonna have to walk from the top down um, but we're used to that, so that's all right. Braden's gonna go right, I'm gonna go left, and we're gonna hit some big country and just do day hike. So this video is gonna be different. You guys have seen us go in back country with uh, carrying camping gear and staying in. We decided just to mix it up, try some new country where we can get to with the tracks and just do day hikes and try to get some of these easy pickings. So we don't know what to expect. I'm confident to say that there's elk and elk sheds in this country, just don't know where. This is a weird year with the high snow, and like I said before, we're just trying to pick it apart and uh, basically checklisting them off where to come and where to where not to. So I think what's going to be effective on this trip is us working together on canyons. Glassing each other's sides is going to be effective. I'm confident today I'm going to glass an antler and really zigzagging through some thick pine tree ponderosa south slopes and kind of this grassy desert stuff down lower. So let's try it. It's nice, all we have in our backpacks is food and water and hiking poles. Usually we got so much gear that even uh, getting to where we're going is a bunch of work. Whew, what? What do we have? Let's talk goals. I think Braden on the way said he wants to pack out five keepers. That could be chalk whites or browns. I'm just gonna match him. You know, usually I shoot for double digits. I don't know why I'm getting crazy, but uh, we'll go for five. If we can get five out of here, if we can even find a single brown, I'll be happy. Here we go, guys. We are, we're gonna split up. I've got my little camera. Braden's gonna be rolling with the big one. Um, I've got to actually go down a south face and then up a north face to get where I'm going. We just jumped like 10 shed bulls right through here. So who knows where they came from? That was over a month ago, but if it is what we think, they probably shed further down on these south slopes and now they're pulling up to these shady tops and you can see there's some snow straight across. I might have to make a push through the snow, which I'm not excited for. Braden's got a nice top to go down and then he can bounce off the south slope from there. So. Raiden, stay Dude. in touch on the radio. That was weak. <laughs> Boom. Stay in touch on the radio. We have a chance. I'm not going to get my hopes up. I always have high hopes, but we have a chance to hit a brown pocket today, guys. So let's get to it. But check this out. Tracks right here. That's a smaller elk track. There's some elk track. There's a nice, rubs. nice bull track, a rub. Dude, we're going to be in them today. I got a feeling. I'm gonna peel off on this south slope and just see. This is heavy timber and might have been a lot of snow when they shed, but you never know. You get a late shedder, wanders up here and drops both sides. 
might pick off a brown set right here. Good luck, man. You too. Better than nothing. Guess we'll take it. Slowly making it down this nasty hill. This was kind of a dumb idea. I just hope this horn makes it worth it. These things are so easy to walk by in this. That's insane. I walked right here. And if you look behind me, found it. There's bear tracks everywhere in here. Kind of sucks I didn't bring my gun just in case, but right there, it's a pretty decent horn. Nothing too great, honestly, for the work that, uh, what the, that's actually pretty small. Dang. Well, it's half decent, I guess. It's better than nothing. Dang. I don't think that was worth it. Definitely not worth it coming down here. I just got done picking up that one and it happened to glass. Dead center. What is it? A little hard white maybe? Sweet. I think it's a hard white. It almost kind of looks like a brown. Mm. Yeah, it's a hard white. It's a cool little bull. Would have been like a little seven point. Huh. Sweet. Maybe we can get in a little, little pocket right here. Must be in Dinkville. That was awesome. I was coming up the steep face and looked up. We got number five, baby. And number six. So there's that one. Might as well just pick it up for you. Just a sweet little chalky five, but we're taking it. This next one's crazy because it's covered by a dead tree. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it. <laughs> Might be the other side. Look at that. Probably is the match. No, this one looks a little newer. <laughs> Maybe I can try to grab it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That one's like in better shape than most of these. That's number six. I just glassed one up right there. And so I guess I'm gonna change my plan instead of going another 100 yards and being at the top and heading back to the truck. I'm gonna walk all the way back down to the elevation I just climbed to go grab that one and then head up and head back towards the truck. Well guys, I got freaking lucky. And I'll tell you what, I don't feel like I've been lucky for a long time. I was just walking this top trying to get to a big basin I wanna hit. And there's a big fat brown right in front of me. Holy cow, that's freaking giant. Look at that thing. Holy cow, what a freaking tank. Man, I needed that. Holy smokes, what a giant. <laughs> Dude, I haven't found a horn that big in a long time. Look at the beam on that. Holy smokes. His front was deceiving, like this is a little compact, yeah. but he is, he is pretty sweet. And I needed that. That's a pretty, pretty bull. 
That fifth is actually shaved off. I don't know if it was too much longer, but I think he lost a little bit on the brake. I needed that sucker bad. Like I've been in the slums. Big old brown. We're gonna try to find the other match up here and uh, see if we can't get lucky. And uh, maybe it's just right on this top in this burn. He can't be far. I'm sure he. I'm sure he wasn't pressured or pushed to you know bounce anywhere. I'm sure he's just living up here on this top and maybe on these slopes right here. That's a slammer. <laughs> I'm stoked. Ah, oh, we needed that. <laughs> That nice white burr. It's not super big, but man, that bull's got the look. Yeah, I'm stoked on that, man. That feels good. It's so dense in the back end too. Nice heavy horn. Boom, just like that, we're on the board. I was just sitting on this little knob right after taking that video right over there. And I just glassed me up one and I'm not sure it looks kind of, it looks brown. It's in way good condition. So I'm super happy about that. I can't decide. I think I'm just going to go and straight and get it because it's just right below me. Not far at all. It doesn't look big. It looks like a five point or something, but it's just right here. Let's go. I'm super happy. I hope, I hope it's brown. I've been getting my butt kicked for browns, but it's just right there. Let's go get it. The only way I can do it is I'm just gonna grab this one and then grab this one and then I'll set it up, but. <laughs> oh boy, that is a sick bull. Holy crap, that's a stud actually. No way, this is my best hard white. They are so dense still. Holy crap. Well, we're gonna set this one right there. I bet this is 330. A sweet 330 bull. This one's so confusing because it looks so brown, but could just be in super good condition. Yeah, oh yeah, that's definitely hard white. <laughs> oh, look at that. Dang, that third is long. Nothing like a side-by-side -side set. Especially my biggest one probably ever. Just a sweet hard white. Look at that. Oh. Dang. I made it back to the camera and pack, so now I can show you off the set. This thing is heavy. Like I had to hike it up only like 200 yards and I'm so tired from that, but these things are like 12 pounders, just mass monsters. <laughs> My biggest set to date and I can't be so, I can't be more excited. My biggest hard white to set to date and I can't be more excited because it's in such good condition. And everything big I've been finding this year have been just so old. So <laughs> that just made my hike so, so worth it. Let's take a look at him. Super pretty bull, big thirds, cool fronts. How his fronts go like that? Just a sweet bull. Freaking mega mass on him. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, guys. that. That first shed just happened so sudden. I didn't even have like time to get excited, and get too crazy about it because I'm trying to bomb in four miles and that's gonna take me two, three hours just to get where I wanna go. So even though I picked up that big brown, I may not have seemed excited, but it's starting to sink in. Like I found a freaking stud brown and regardless of how this day goes, I'm coming out with a sweet shed. So I'm stoked on that, but I thought I'd turn the camera on and just tell you guys I'm pumped. I was just looking at pictures on my phone and that thing is pretty. Might have to try to find the match on the way out, but I've got a ridge I've been eyeballing and I just have to get to it. Even though there's that brown back there, I just have to get to this ridge. So let's see if we can get into them. I just uh, stopped here to grab a little piece of candy and look down <laughs> pretty sweet white tail shed hmm heck yeah dude I'll take that holy cow 
That is sweet. Guys, I'm stoked. Like I've told you before, I'm starting to get a pretty good collection of these whitetail sheds. It's not often that I find them in really good condition. This is a last year's shed. Unfortunately, it chewed off a little bit there. But I don't think he had much. Maybe a really small point here. But it's all together. That could be fixed if I ever wanted to. But sweet coos deer shed. Compact right there. Look, look where the... Oh! <laughs> There's the other side. <laughs> yes! I do not find sets of coos deer very often, guys. And we just found a sweet set. Holy smokes. Mm. Nice. Not, not getting any ATLs either, dang it. Whoo. That one's chewed up a little more. Guys, this is stoked. Let me throw up the tripod, show you guys these things. We're counting those puppies. Those are sweet. It's not often you find them in good shape. It's definitely not often you find a match set of coos deer sheds, so I'm pleased with that. I got a brown elk shed and now a hard white coos set, and I love these little deer. His, uh, that first side is quite a bit better. Um, he had a point right here that's broke. Man, too bad the squirrels got to him. Just a sweet little set right there, guys. Heck yeah. We're going to put these inside the pack. I have lost a couple coos deer sheds on the outside. We can't be having that with this stack, so we're putting those inside the K4. So they are safe and sound. Let's go get more. Guys, you will not believe what just happened. So I don't think you guys are ready for what I just found. Let me grab all my stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, I gotta match that horn up. What is it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop leaving you guys on a cliffhanger. Let me flip this around. I'm gonna walk up on it, just so you guys can just... Are you ready to see it? Oh my gosh. Boom! <laughs> Look at that thing! That thing would have been so crazy. I don't even think it's brown. Unless it's just been super chewed. Yeah, it's hard white. But look at that thing. Holy crap. That's one of the coolest sheds I've ever seen. What a day. I didn't think this day was gonna be something special, but I just found an awesome horn, a dead head, and then a sweet set. Holy crap, I hope everyone else is doing all right. I haven't really heard for, from them. Oh my gosh, I gotta get a pickup for this one. I'm gonna try to find a good place for my phone. <laughs> oh my heck. Look at how cool that horn is. That beam goes for days. And just, I think it would have been a triple brow. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my heck. That is such a sick bull. I can't believe how good I'm getting in them right now. That thing is such a sweet horn. Came real close to missing that one. <laughs> Dang close. Add the back pedal a little bit. Hey, hey. Elk shed number two. Looks like last year's. That'll make some dog shoes. Whoo, baby. Let's go. This was just out of my view to glass from the top. Whew. Pretty nice one, guys. A couple year old. Maybe even last year's. In the sun right here. Nice white burr. Heck yeah. The Royals busted off. Guys, we got three elk sheds today. Let's keep moving. I'm bombing. I gotta make the most of this day because I've got to pull out before dark. <sighs> I felt good. I needed that baby. Look at that. Nice solid white in good shape. That's going on the pack. Oh baby. Heck yeah. Decent bull guys. What we're looking for. It's got this funny little 
Oh. I just bonked my head so dang hard. I was gonna say it's got this little candle drop over here on the second. Check it out guys. Watch the main beam. Nice shed. A white bird is getting sun bleached right there. So number three guys. Here's a little better look at that seven point. Just such a pretty bull. Guys, this is actually pretty dang funny. I'm sitting here looking up. There's like an arched object. I was like, is that the outline of a rock? Put my binos up, it's an antler. Check it out. Okay, just to the right of the pondy in the center there. I put up my binos and confirm it. And as I'm confirming and just looking at that, I see this one right in front of me. Probably a set. All right, so this guy, look at the arch on that. It's gotta be the other side up here. <laughs> Which means I just walked above these. And that's exactly why I'm doing some lines in here. It's all tore up. A left and a right. Look at that monster. Holy smokes. I haven't found a set that small in a long time, guys. We're taking those bad boys. Hey, hey. Another decent one. Decent condition. Heck yeah, let's keep it. And all the little ones down here. Good thing I got a big one already on the trail. We're loading this up and do a cut up and drop the pack and maybe zigzag a little bit without it because it's not crazy heavy, but it's definitely not helping carrying it around everywhere. All right, we ditched the pack because I was going to lose a little elevation. I mean, some of this higher stuff. You know what's funny is you're always like, man, maybe I'm just too high for the elk. And every time I feel that way, I find coos deer. These things, they don't give a dang. They're tiny animals, but they stay up in the deep snow. Um, this is a pretty sweet shed, check it out. You made it easy to see him. Stood out like a sore thumb up there. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's a nice one too. That's a dang nice one, guys. It's in good condition. Let's see, get the phone out. Hopefully you guys are uh, following us on the old Instagram. We are always doing stories and whatnot over there. Get some video of this guy. Another whitetail shed. My lucky day for these things. And they're way high in the pondies up here. My kind of shed right there. Yes. This is my day for whitetail sheds. Another hard white. Chewed on a little bit. But that thing is in solid, solid condition. Guys, I am stoked to find these. They're fun to find. They don't weigh anything. You can pack them all over. And I need to do a couple lines in here real quick. Even just to try to find the match to that. And uh, see if I can't get lucky with an elk shed. Sweet. Right under where I ditched the backpack. You got a light. That's awesome. I'm gonna leave this and this right here. Because the backpack is up on top of that. I'm gonna go make a couple more lines below me. See if I can't get lucky again. Yeah, it's a hard white. Let's go. We'll come back to these two. I'm gonna take one of these sticks because that way I have one. Can use the other to pick up my big brown. Let's go. And this little side hill just keeps producing. What the heck? Another hard white coos. Let's go. Dang, not even chewed. 
So I'm talking about, guys. We'll take these all day. That's three antlers just since I dropped my pack. So getting a little motivation in me, but I do have to be careful. I don't have any food or water with me. Still got to take it easy, but animals have been all over this hill. Looks a little fresh, but I'm not counting. I'm not counting out the fact that there could be a brown elk shed even up this high. So let's go find it. Well, trying to get every little ounce of moisture. I got my backpack for this hike out. So we got some little cuties and then uh, got a bottle of water. I'm so glad I brought this because I actually forgot. So I've been rationing this Mountain Hops bottle. So that means I can uh, drink a little more than I thought, which is good. So I'm gonna go water bottle and a Mountain Ops Ignite packet. We're gonna get those two together. Sip on that on the way out just to give me some extra energy to get out of here. I still have hope that uh, on the way out we can find some sheds. Chance for elk, of course, but I think we have a really good chance for more of these. I could even find the match to this because I'm headed right back through there. Just to give you an idea how big this is, there's the one from um, earlier. This guy, he's pretty sweet. He's just super compact. This other typical, that's just like a super, super nice typical, but both great bucks. Stoked to have both of those. I have um, five coos deer. I found this way on the, found this on the way up. I didn't film it, but look at that freak. I just kind of grabbed it and went, but has a weird old blob on it. Five coos sheds. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six elk sheds. Killer day. And then this guy. Looks like a third. I just decided to grab it anyways. <laughs> I don't know why. Shoot, I got a big old elk shed on the top, so that's seven. We're killing it. Finally got my double digits. All right, guys, stupid things Eric does. Goes off the edge. Trying to look for the match to my big brown. Glass of white. Down there quite a ways. <sighs> Guess I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm an idiot. Let's hope it's not chalk. I'll be sad if it's chalk. It's at least a decent horn, but it's down there quite a ways. There it is, kind of center there. Sitting out in the sun. Go get it. All right, let's go see what this thing is all about. Oh, let's hope it's not chalk. It's got a nice third on it. Oh yeah, heck of a bull. Check that out. I did not know what I was getting myself into bombing off of here for this antler, but it is worth it. It's a nice antler. Weak seconds, big thirds, big royals, really pretty shape. Uh, hopefully I pick it up and it's nice and brown on the backside. I think it is last year's shed. It's in really good condition, just sitting right up here, kind of high. So now I just need to get this and bomb out of here. Look at the web on that. Too bad he's chewed up there. <laughs> that was worth it, guys. That was a big push, but that was worth it. Ah, oh, busted. Dang guys, that's a that's a nice antler. It broke as soon as I grabbed it, so I'm gonna throw that in my pocket, but 
That really is a sweet bull. Check that out. Worth bombing down here to come get it. Um, I don't have time, but I'm gonna just pop over this edge, see if the other side is close by, and then we gotta bounce. Poor thing's been chewed on. They busted through the shell and got into the bone marrow, but still worth coming down. Great way to end the day. We, uh, gonna make a big push out of here and we might get lucky, so let's head on out, guys. Been a killer day. Hey, dude. All the coos. I swear this is what the fuck done. Big typical. Holy crap. Then this one was a set. Compact. But... Dang. Dude, coos day, huh? Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. They were all up in the ponds, too. And just a freaking mega deep <laughs> brown set. Yeah. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Yeah, went up there and looked for the other side. Couldn't find it. Holy dang. Welcome to a special episode of Shed Tour with my buddy Drail. If you guys follow the channel, you know Drail from my elk hunt. Uh, elk hunts, I should say. We've done it a few times together and had pretty dang good success. So we decided let's uh, take some of that success to this spring shed hunt. So we both kind of know a little bit about this country, but we've really never stepped foot here. So we said, let's bomb in. We got the backpacks for overnighter. We got Braden behind the camera. He'll be out stomping around, laying down his own boot tracks. And what what do you expect? I don't even know what to expect up here. Lots of blood. <laughs> We've drawn blood. Our, we just went through the worst thorn patch ever. But we got to the top and it was kind of right here where we said after this, we should be getting into some elk sign. And I'll tell you what, it smells. It reeks of elk right here. These bulls have been bedded. Granted, they shed a month ago, but I think somewhere off these big canyons, uh, there's gonna be a pile of browns. And with the three of us kind of spreading out, I honestly think we're gonna find some of them. So at least one night, if we happen to hit the pocket and do really well, we'll starve ourselves and stay two nights because it was uh, not easy getting here. And I think we're maybe halfway so let's spread out and see if we can find some elk sheds, guys. Shed tour 23. Let's go. Well, we took a risk and dropped into this crazy canyon. Starting to get into some elk sign and boom. Big old bladed chalk. Too bad that's old because that's a sweet antler. Look at that. Heavy bladed royal. Gosh, that's old. Just when we were getting in a sign, too. Huh. We're gonna leave that there. There's definitely elk track here. I just think, especially on a year like this, we better drop some elevation and try to get lower with, you know, what would have been a bunch of snow up here. But we'll snag a photo, mark it on Onyx, and uh, keep moving. It's a pretty antler, though. All right, guys, let's see what else we can find. And I just found a stud horn. Dang, it's actually a little newer than I thought it was. How sweet is that? Just a solid chalker. But it just makes me happy because if there's no one hiking these perfect little pondies, I'd imagine there's gonna be probably a few more horns in here, so. So this is what shed country should look like. Trails. Tracks, beds, droppings, piss. It's just a matter of time before we find where these suckers were shedding. Oh, big ass deadhead buck. Oh, <laughs> Raiden found a big deadhead buck. 
That's cool. That was coming over to this hill here. Started blasting the boat almost over there. Started working my way across this hill here. And got to about up in here. Was glassing this area down in here because it looked like it was a good spot for a shed. Turned up a brown. Oh, look at that. I stepped over it. Right here. Anyways, turned up brown right here. And from up there, he looked. He looked. Oh. And as he does in the camera, he looks really small. And And I look right in front of me. This is how close I was to it. <laughs> Got me a freaking brownie up in here. That is crazy. It might honestly be hard white. Yeah, it might be hard white. But still, I'll take it. Solid weight to that thing. Dang, it's such good condition. It's just chewed on just enough to make it look hard white. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm just sitting here waiting for everyone else to come back. I'm pretty sure Dreo and Eric are pretty dang close. So I think I'm gonna build myself a bed right in here. And then I have no tent or anything. So I'm just praying it doesn't rain or the wind's not too bad. But right now it's kind of blowing, but but that's not a bad start. We got three elk sheds, a big old deadhead, and then two browns by Dreo as I know of. I'm sure he probably ha has a few more. And then Eric went up this huge face and said there's a whole bunch of signs. So. It's only a matter of time till we get into them. There's old EC coming down slowly. He has the hammock, so he can literally set up anywhere he wants, but not a bad little pile so far. Dang, big time. There's my little fiber, dude. Out there. That's cool front, huh? Oh yeah, a floater. Yeah. Those are always cool. I mean, I got worked. You got nothing. One chalk. Lots of sticks. <laughs> oh, I think Dreo's gonna come down. He found his up high. And I just realized I forgot my blow up mattress. Ooh, Even for the hammock, I know it's gonna be cold with this wind. Dang, so what do you think? A couple years old? Yeah, the other side's pretty chalked. Yeah. Probably two, don't you think? Yeah, three. they've been in here all different years. Dude, I was in good sign and then we got lower and lower and I just dissipated. I didn't find a single thing. It's only a matter of time, dude. Hammock is what's up down here, guys. It's been blowing like crazy and there's a bunch of blowdown and my biggest fear is just like a tree crashing down and just you're dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, the good thing is about this spot, it's not as windy as the top. Probably gonna be a little colder because of the river. We have endless water, which we all just chug water at night when we got a creek by us. So that'll give us a good start for tomorrow. We'll start with water too. So we're gonna wait for Dreo. I don't know if he's gonna bring his sheds down, but we haven't seen him. If he does, that means he's gotta carry him all the way back up but I'd love to see him because I didn't get to see a brown elk shed today. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. <laughs> That'll work. Just need a small fire to cook some brats and tortillas. Maybe hang out just a little bit, but a uh, perfect spot for a fire down in this little bottom. That way, it's right close to the creek, so when we're done with it, we can just dump a ton of water on it, make sure it's out really good. Dr. Dreo! Dreo hit the pocket right there where we split up. He sat down and was patient and paid off. Meanwhile, I just like ran for the bottom <laughs> with nothing. Dreo found some good ones. Dr. Dreo! You want to come to a tree? Dude. Wow. Oh, what a bottom up there. Huh? Uh, uh, you know what? I think there, I think there's one up there still. Really? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I kind of hit the one zone a little bit. And Dude, that, that one's got, got some mass. Dude, I might have that hard white. From the year before? Yeah. Dang, that's hot there, man. man. Dude. 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 Yeah. I could just put her like in, carrying it off for like two months. Yeah, walking up the ridge, <laughs> crossing through the snow. <laughs> Gary, come on. You did a good job. Thank you. You too, bro. Man. And it'd be done from the EC money. You can find a single brown today. Ugh. Good morning, guys. Day two of this push. Pretty nice to look back at camp and see some antler tine, some browns, some whites. We've got browns off this year, hard white, probably a two and a three year old shed. So it's definitely a little pocket where they've been year after year. But we all made it through the night. I was a little chilly in the hammock, just my back got cold from the breeze. Braden said he slept good, Jail slept okay. But we woke up in the pocket. We're just talking like we, there could be a shed within 50, 60 yards of us right here where we slept. So we have a full day to hit it today. And if we decide that it's good enough, we can probably make it one more night. I mean, I'm not feeling it, <laughs> but I haven't found one. So these guys are probably like, man, we might hit another night. But that's just it, man. You can shed hunt this type of country and you can hit the hotline. I call it the red line. And you can hit the block, you know, the dud. And wherever I went yesterday, I'm not saying I didn't walk by any, but I didn't, I didn't, didn't find any. So we're gonna try it again today. My goal is one brown, one brown. Well, me and Dreo were working our way up this super steep hill, freaking pack full, and then Dreo looks down. <laughs> little white, little old, big deep cracks like the canyons we're walking in. <laughs> he's literally just talking. He's like, I love it when we sit down and then get up and find a shed and then look down. 
<laughs> Hell like yeah. Birds are wanting to leave, but it's like still kind of complete. Well, I just split up from the guys and uh, took that ridge I mentioned. And I'll tell you what, the place is pounded with tracks, beds, droppings. <laughs> and again, I'm feeling like, you know what? There's got to be a, a brown right here somewhere, but yet to turn one up. But I'm not giving up, guys. I have a goal to find a brown in this canyon on this hike. So I'm just going to stay focused, go slow, be strategic. We'll get one. Boom, baby. Finally. Guys, I just sat here in glass, which is kind of funny. Another tip is when you glass stuff, you gotta glass different angles and different lighting. I glassed here yesterday up the ridge. Glass this basin, didn't turn anything up. I just glassed two white shed antlers. They're right on the same elevation line, so a good chance that it's a set. So we're on the board. But I'm in no hurry to get over there. I'm going to zigzag this hillside. And as I continue to get different angles, we'll uh, glass that hill and see what else is over there. That's my goal is to zigzag this, eventually make it over in this high basin. And hope that some bulls have been wintering and shedding up there. Obviously, that one did. And I hope it's not chalk. Let's hope that those are nice hard whites. Woo -hoo. Guys, this is long overdue. I was hitting this uh, shady side right here, and man, the tracks and beds were just everywhere. And then coming up this ridge, I'm like, all right, there has to be a horn in here. There's just droppings from every age. And I was right here when I saw that. <laughs> Freaking dandy. Baby, let's go. Oh, heck yeah. Right there, looks like uh, looks like there's a bed there. Poop, fresh poop and old poop. That's why I love getting into them, where are you finding all that? Holy cow, I needed that, guys. I was underneath this tree, and I was like, well, if there was a shed like underneath it, it'd be easy to see. So I went below it and got lucky to see this, but look. <laughs> Freaking elk poop on top. Fresh, fresh poop right here. They've definitely been moving around through here quite a bit. That north slope or shady slope, whatever way it's facing, I thought would have a shed. But maybe they're just tucked over here in this thick brush. This is the high basin I wanted to hit. That set that's white is above me. So looks like we got some work to do in the bushes. Whew, how are we gonna find the match to that in this mess? Dang. <laughs> that feels good guys. Let's pick it up. Man, I needed that. No nope, poop. <laughs> That'll give me some extra motivation. Left side, just a pretty, pretty bull. Right here in his bed. We've, uh, we camped just over the top of that down in that creek bottom and we knew we were close to uh, more antlers. I mean, we're getting into them. Nothing's really popped off like a lot, but I've got this brown and a white set above me. So all in all, I've got three for the day and it's still early. It's still really early. And that's, that's why I love hiking in and, and packing in here. 
That way you can get so much time. Even if you, even if we choose to hike out tonight, we'll have a, almost a solid day in here. So this brush needs some attention, but man, it's going to be a thick mess. But who knows what's in here? It could be a giant. There's definitely some quality bulls. Uh, the three browns we've picked up are all about this caliber. The one being a little heavier that Dreo found, but sweet bull nonetheless. Look at that. Got some blood, dried up blood. Heck yeah, we'll take it. Check out the burr. Got some dried up blood there. Pretty sweet. Nice. Well, at least the match to this is right here, but if I had to guess, there's some more. Oh. Hell yeah. Now we're going to go to Dre and get the pickup of him picking up the seven. Let's get this little feller picked up. <laughs> Whoa. Just a decent little six. Well, I'm getting a little higher now. Closer to this one side I glassed. And uh, just past a chalk back there. It was old. Didn't care to snag it. And now, just got another one. <clears throat> another one we're just gonna leave behind. That's five sheds total. One keeper so far. Oh, this south slope is a mess. <clears throat> and the dirt <laughs> and the rocks are so loose, I can hardly catch my feet. But I used this tree that had a busted, busted pine tree as a landmark. So I know that both those sheds are right on the elevation line. So, Let's go get it. Now, hopefully, we can start finding more brown because these chalks I'm getting are not worth taking. Man, I really shed on this hill that one year. Yeah, we're not gonna, we're gonna take that one. That other side is right up here. Well, there's the first one I glassed. That's so dang old. I do think it's a set. Well, at least it got me on this side hill and found a brown. There's tracks all over. I think it's just a matter of weeding them out. But uh, I know that last little pocket has to have the match to this. I'm gonna walk to this edge and uh, that'll put me on the backbone to glass the next canyon. And just like this one, glassed a couple sheds, maybe I can do the same on the next ridge. Be nice to glass a brown. My goodness, they're hard to see in this stuff. Another oldie. Like the kings of finding the hot spots from six years ago. That one's not as bad as the others. I've packed out worse. Chalk chalk though, I mean that's bad. Backside's not so bad, but I don't want to carry it. I might be getting carried away a little bit. I dropped elevation, a lot of elevation, got to where I found my brown and nothing was popping. And all these trails just led down the canyon and I figured, you know what? I hit above here, but I hit, I didn't hit down the slope. 
and that's where all the elk trails are. And then I look down in the creek bottom, there's a nice shed. Might be worth packing that one. It's in decent condition, I think. Right in the creek. Huh. Getting all washed up and buried. Where are the elk like this this year? Dang it. That thing is old. Nice antler. Still weighs a lot, but man, that's Chalk City. Super pink. Dang it. Where are the bulls like this this year? We are struggling. Come on, give me a white. Not a chalk. It's fucking old. Gosh dang it. That one's not too bad. That one's pretty dense. You know what bull that looks like? That looks like the bull that Drail picked up brown. Huh. I'll we'll have to put them together. It's got the same fourth and fifth, same shape of main beam. That antler is actually pretty dense. It's not like it's in great condition, but dense enough. I don't know. I'll lug it around. That backside's nice and dark. Little better shape than that last one I found and hardly a chew on it. So we'll keep this one and make a big push up this mountain. See if we can't get lucky, but I don't know what the deal is. I mean, there's three bulls that we know of shedding here this year. I haven't found a hard white. I know Brayden did. Anyways, there's something in here. Just gotta keep weeding them out of this thick stuff. Nice sight to see. All right, another chalk or something. Just decided to cut this direction. I was going straight up, started getting into a bunch of sign. Decided to make a sharp right turn. We got another left antler. Man. If these were all brown, I'd be straight killing it. Hmm. Dang it. Why can I not find more browns? Gosh dang. There's sign everywhere in here. I don't know if the bulls pass through here after they shed or the herd of cows and calves push through here, but tons of sign, just not many brown. Guys, I've been uh, just pushing up out of here right on the hiking trail. This is the hiking trail that we came down and I'm right out of the creek and I something caught my eye over here and there's a dead dead buck. Sure looks like a coos deer, but I didn't know 100% if they have coos deer here or not, but it sure looks like it. So we came down this, probably totally distracted, just mobbing through, and there's a dead buck over there. So uh, I think uh, you've got to call fishing game. So I'm going to get on my Garmin inReach and try to contact some of my local friends to see uh, what should we should do. If I can get a Garmin sent out of here. Check this out, right across the river. Right out of the riverbed. These things are always in the bottoms, always. Looks like a decent one. Oh yeah, it's brown. 
Hmm. Got to get across the creek. Dang. Is that chewed on a little bit? Nose is all off of there. Sure, mountain lion or something. Don't even see a rib cage. That's a dang nice buck, guys. I'm gonna take some photos, give you guys an update. Oh, he's got an extra. So one, two, three, four, five point frame on the right. One, two, three, four on the left. Pretty sweet. I'll give you guys an update if I can learn anything. I, lucky for me, I have some daylight to use the Garmin. This guy right here. Hopefully I can reach some of my friends and get some advice to uh, either take it out and call the fishing game or just leave it here. So I'm gonna get on the Garmin and see what we can do. Grab some photos. That's a pretty dang sweet buck. I didn't know there was coos here. That's pretty cool. Well, Braden found some. Sheesh. Nimble for a pack full of sheds. <laughs> Look at all those. Holy cow. Boom, made it back guys. A two day, single night, killer trip. I mean, learn a new country, like I said, it's either you're gonna get worked or you're gonna find something. So I came off with two, Braden's got eight or more, and then my buddy Dreo's probably got seven or eight too. He's not back, but uh, when he gets back, we'll give you guys an update, but we're finally back to the quads. We learned a lot. It was big country with, you know, not a ton of sheds, but enough to keep us motivated, enough to keep us going. But when Dreo gets back, we'll update you, and then we'll hang out at camp, cook some dinner, and we're gonna regroup and do it again. I don't know where, but we're gonna find a ridge and hopefully we get lucky. You got enough, bro? Dale hit the line. Good. Let's go. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a day, nice boys. work, Dale. Thank you, Thank you, Dude, awesome job. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Dale loaded down. Killer, man. Oh, really? Yeah. On that same spot again? Yeah, that's fine. See that. <laughs> All right, nice. we got. Oh yeah, the heavy seven. Yeah, that is a solid horn. Huh? Yeah, I kind of have a hard time doing stuff like that. It's, it's still dense. Heck yeah, dude. Good job. Good job. Good Oh, that's the one that yeah. you had to dig out of. I thought it was a hard ride coming up to it, but man, it was just... All right, guys, that video is actually going to conclude the Shed Tour series for the 2023 season. I think we ended up with seven episodes, and that seven episodes, um, had we done it like years past, probably would have been another 20 or 30 videos if we did the day by day. So if you guys like the longer form videos, I think some of these probably averaged about an hour in length. If you guys like the longer videos, I would love to hear from you. Just put a comment in the comment section. But this is my 2023 stack. I'll show you a few of my favorite finds that are at least easy to get on the top. But before we close that out, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Shed Tour is probably my favorite series of the entire year. I do love to shed hunt. Um, probably more than I like to hunt. I love both, don't get me wrong. But people always ask, if I had to choose one, what would I choose? And it would be to collect shed antlers. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys got inspired or maybe even motivated to go give it a shot yourself. If you're new to shed hunting, Welcome to the shed life. Let me uh, show you some of these. We got Matt here helping me film. So Matt's gonna take the camera. So I guess we'll start with the stuff you guys just saw on this episode, which is this coos deer deadhead. Um, the officer we dealt with out, of, out in New Mexico was super, super nice. And the state agency, I don't know how it's run. Don't take my words verbatim, but um, what they'll do is if you call in ahead and they come check it out or give you permission to bring it to them, they will actually sell you the head. So 
I paid 20 bucks for this and I would do it with every single head I ever found. And that money goes back into wildlife. So I kind of like that about the state of Mexico. Um, there's that buck next to my Mexico deer. I might have said Mexico, I meant New Mexico. And you guys can see this guy's got a big tall frame with those long beams. Just doesn't carry the mass that that guy has. So super cool find. Um, I'm really loving all the little coos heads I found this year. Um, this guy, we put it in a vlog, but this is off a bull that I have a set off. It's actually over here on the shed wall of fame. That is uh, probably a three, I don't know, 45 type of bull. I don't know, he could surprise you. His set is 363, um, but from this year to that year, he sure grew a lot. So that's one of my personal favorites. Just having some history with that bull. I finally put a tape on this guy. A lot of the mule deer lovers were wondering what that scored. And I got him just shy of 88. So I got 87 and 7 eighths. So say he's 88, you put that together. So that's 160, 176 with a 20. That's a 190s buck. And when I picked it up and saw it in the video, if you guys watched it, I knew it was gonna be one of the biggest mule deer sheds I had ever found. Could possibly be the biggest. I've got some good ones in here with some nice cheaters and decent frames, but between the main beam, the G4, the extra, and the eye guard, it just puts that um, close to, it could be close to 200 depending on what the other side is. So if anybody's got the other side, let me know. Yeah, so those are some of my favorites. Uh, some of the early finds from this year that are down here in the bottom. That big heavy five by six set. A couple nice singles I never matched up. Um, this heavy guy that I found on a solo trip that we just threw into a Hush Life vlog. Um, found both sides of him. So that's this year's stack right there. That's what one shed season looks like for me. I would say this year was probably a little slower than the last few years. Um, I just spent a lot of time exploring new country. I just put a nice thing in my wall. Um, exploring new country and you know, most of it this year just didn't pay off. But I had a great shed tour, I had a great season. It's not over yet, I'll probably go out a few more times. And if we do, we might save that for the next year. But again, thank you guys so much for the support with shed tour. Thank you for the support through our giveaway that we just closed out. We will be announcing a winner soon. Um, I just love freaking having you guys and the support of this channel and everybody obviously on the Hush team. we got Matt, Logan, Casey, and BMAC. Thank you guys. Shed tour is over. Um, we'll see you on the next, next video.